Ronnie has a passion for perfection and he has a passion for persistence. I mean, I think those two traits, you can pretty much achieve anything in life. I, I don't think he has ever not been a geek. I, I mean, I didn't know him prior to being a geek, but I imagine that he will remain a geek. And that's a great thing. Although South Africa's film industry is vibrant and growing, it's no place for the faint-hearted, because making a profit isn't as easy as making the actual movie. And no one knows that better than Ronnie Aptiecker. After producing a string of unsuccessful movies, he finally nailed it with last year's box office hit, Material, a film that stood him in great stead on the international film market. It seems his never-die attitude finally paid off after 11 years of trial and error. Ronnie's knack for business was apparent at a very young age. In his teens, he started a t-shirt and cap business, Hat Matters. His luck changed in 1993, when at age 26, he and Tom McWalter founded the country's very first internet service provider, Internet Solutions. You've been a nerd all your life, and now you're a cool nerd. What's that like? I've always been a cool nerd. I was a risk taker. I was always doing things. I was yeah. making money, modest money. From the age of 18, I used to mm. wait there, I used to work in the film market, I used to make ties, I used to make hats, we used to write software programs out of our funny little office at Wits. Sure. We were always doing things. Sure. You know, I was never sitting on my ass. Mm. Do you think that's the reason why you caught on to this IS and it all began? Because think, it sounds like you were a kid about, looking for. You were I think the real for... thing about entrepreneurship is they try and mm. try and try and try. Mm. I can't say that I tried in the formal sense because I was a student, mm. but man, I tried many things. And I could have been in the tie and t-shirt business today if that had worked. Yeah, hat matters. Yeah. Yeah. If that had worked, I'd be sending schmatters on, on, on William Nickel. Sure. But it didn't work. I mean, it worked, it paid the bills while I was vasty. Then this thing started very innocently. Yeah. And it just caught on. You know, that was our luck. In 1996, Ronnie and his mate sold internet solutions for a cool 650 million rands, making him a bona fide millionaire. So there you are, you've made you've made a small fortune yeah. in IT. Why going to film? You could have done anything else. I could have done nothing. True. I would have been better off if I'd done nothing. It's not a joke, eh? Well, okay. You're speaking candidly. Mm. Yeah. In 2002, inspired by his own experiences, Ronnie wrote and produced his first film, Purpose, a story about a man who wanted to change the world through IT. Despite the two million rand budget it took to make the film, the movie tanked, breaking both his bank balance and almost his health. Take me back to that experience. And what, what got you to get into film Especially that film. Have you guys had a bit of a look around this place? This campus? Yeah. It's a magical place. What do we do here? We make magic on computer screens. We capture people's imaginations with technology. And I just, I don't know, I found a bigger, a bigger screen. Mm. You know, found a more, a, a more crazy magic. And we still use technology in all this filmmaking. We're using all this tech that you guys have got here. Um, but we use the tech for the purpose of telling a story. Yeah. He, he already started putting uh, teams together within Internet Solutions. I was one of the guys and he wanted to work on scripts. Crazy stuff. We had, uh, we had already made little movies. I think what did come as a surprise was it wasn't an easy experience. And, um, you know, that was, that was, it wasn't easy to, to, to see that. But how do you come out of it? That's the thing, isn't it? How do you keep, how did you make it out of that major cards? Magic, yeah. Magic. And your mother giving you a smack on the back of your head, eh? <laughs> I suddenly feel sorry myself. My mother would grab my ear so fast and give me a hiding. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the thing. If you have a Jewish mother, you have to overperform. And where do you think Internet Solutions, why do you think it was such a success? It's not just that was his passion. He had a Jewish mother. And for those of you who are achievers who don't have Jewish mothers, I really respect that. That took extra effort. How did money affect you, having it? How did it affect me? Yeah. It didn't change me. I'd like to think it didn't. Yes. But it allowed me to enable other people's dreams. Sure. And my own. Sure. It was also my dream that. Sure. It allowed me to take more risks. But it also, it also lets you get hurt. Okay. Because Explain you that. take some money, mm -hmm. make a film, get a hiding. Then yeah. up in litigation. Mm -hmm. Then up making a fool of yourself. Yeah. Then you. Do it again, because as my one mentor taught me, some mistakes are too good to only make once. So you get another hiding. Mm -hmm. And then you think, yes, I say. You know, if I didn't have that money, I didn't get those hidings, I was actually, everything was nice, ignorance is bliss. Everything was yes. nice and, 
and, and, and, and, and stable. Mm. Now you're taking risks and you, you know, it's one thing to make money, it's another thing to lose it, you don't feel good about it, you know. Mm. After a string of unsuccessful films, he finally had a taste of victory. Material was not only the talk of the town, but it also became the second non-Afrikaans movie to make a profit in the country since the film The Gods Must Be Crazy back in the 80s. That's what I said, you need the losses to yeah. actually make you appreciate when things do go right. Gotcha. Like we couldn't have done material if we hadn't failed so many times before. Yeah. And when it did happen, even though it was a modest success, it wasn't yeah. some global phenomenon. Absolutely. We appreciate it every day sure. because it was so hard to get there. Sure. And now we want to capitalize and grow and learn from what we sure. built and, and get better and make yeah. a better one. You know? yeah. a, better, a better story, you know? tell a better story next time. But at least we've got a benchmark and some credibility, but yeah. man, it's hard to get there. Eh? Also, what's remarkable about material it's a film about Muslims produced by Jews and one Christian. Let's not forget Robbie Thorpe, but the rest of the thing. And I think that's good because we need to, as much as possible, find a way for Muslims and Jews to collaborate and work together and find peaceful means of thing. And this movie is the equivalent, it's the equivalent of finding that hot cross bun in, in Woolies. You know where they put the, the halal logo and the kosher stamp together on a hot cross bun. And that is the possibility of togetherness. Social cohesion, if you like. You tried comedy. I was good, man. I, I can ask Riyad, get him on the phone. Yeah, look, he had, he had us chuckling every now and again, certainly, certainly during, you know, during work. And in the context of the environment in which he was comfortable, he was, he was hysterical. Some say there were a couple of jokes that worked. But I think that it was perhaps funny in an ironic way, in a way that other comics would laugh, not necessarily the audience. But I wasn't there, and I can't comment. It was at the underground, and it was a couple of years before my time. But I know Ronnie was there, and there were jokes told. And it didn't last long. Movies and beyond, is that, is that, is that where this goes? Well, we got, uh, we, we're busy with a new IT uh, uh, venture, mm -hmm. creating mobile apps and creating computer games. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then we are busy, uh, well, the big work right now is on nothing for Mahala. And I'm anxious. As you know, this stuff is hard. Yeah. There's no other word. It's, yeah. a, it's a gamble, and the chances of success here are one in a hundred. And there's a lot at stake here. This is a form for a... Uh, a non-profit uh, organization. It's, um, it's an inspired idea for an important exercise. It's, mm -hmm. it's about stimulating a national conversation around values and money. Mm. So we are praying that it works. This entrepreneurial streak is no fluke for a man born of immigrant parents who taught him the value of hard work. It's not by chance that he's on the 10 groundbreaking African tech millionaires list. Since he's quite mastered the tech space, he's still wishing and hoping that his movies will ride this winning streak and that he continues to tell unique South African stories for the world to see and appreciate.